There are really two cliches to address when discussing US President Ronald Reagan. The first is there's no such thing as a B actor. There's an actor who's cast in B movies and that's just how his career went in Hollywood. But he had a good life and made a good living. The other is there's at least one book out that refers to Ronald Reagan as a New Deal FDR Democrat who really didn't change many of his views when he switched to the Republican Party and became president. His inaugural addresses speak to the agenda items that he had for many years. Smaller government, deficits, hard work, American exceptionalism, and so on. But listen to these rhetorical flourishes. And if you can, Google the speeches and see how he acted out some of this language. The economic ills we suffer have come upon us over several decades. They will not go away in days, weeks, or months, but they will go away. And that's what he did. He did a bit of a pause, a bit of a change up, a bit of a refocus, a bit of acting. In this present crisis, government is not the solution to our problems. Now, that's the written text, but in the video I have of the actual inaugural address, President Reagan said, then says, government is the problem. Perhaps this was written in or ad-libbed at the last moment. Progress may be slow, measured in inches and feet, not miles, but we will progress. That system has never failed us, but for some time, we failed the system. Interesting inversions. If not us, who? And if not now, when? History is a ribbon, always unfurling. History is a journey. Pretty good turns of phrases. Reagan is a great storyteller, choosing in his second inaugural to tell a compelling story about founding fathers Adams and Jefferson, who died on the same day in 1826, the 50th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence. Reagan's second inaugural is also an historic document in which he outlines his desire to construct a security shield, which became known as Star Wars. Now, biographers have Reagan making up certain things in speeches, making up events, exaggerating, and so on, but I think history has treated him very kindly.